So the year is 2050. We're about 13 years on from when we resigned from Stoke City. Let's go see how our former clubs have performed. So I set it to record overnight and we got 13 years out of it. Uh, let's, go, let's go see the first season since we left. So of course the 2036-2037 season was the season we were in the Premier League with Stoke City and coming in second place. Leeds in fourth, Huddersfield in seventh, Barnsley in eighth, Birmingham City in ninth place, Nottingham Forest in 14th, Crystal Palace and West Brom in 16th and 17th respectively. In the 37-38 season, Barnsley and Birmingham both got Champions League football as absolutely fantastic. Huddersfield came in seventh, getting Europa Conference League. Stoke City came in 10th, not a bad uh, second season after having the have had Champions League football this season as well. Crystal Palace, Nottingham Forest and West Brom following them in 11th, 12th and 13th. Leeds dropping out the Champions League places coming in 15th. is a little bit disappointing by them, but none of our former sides got relegated here. All still in the league after the first season since. Let's have a look at the second season. So Stoke narrowly missing out on Champions League football. None of our former sides getting it. Huddersfield in 8th, Barnsley in 9th, Leeds in 10th, Birmingham in 11th, Forest in 12th, West Brom in 13th, Crystal Palace, nar well, not narrowly, but finishing in 17th, 7 points clear from the relegation zone. All of our former sides still in the Premier League. Next one, Stoke again narrowly missing out on Champions League football. Forest in 6th, Leeds in 7th, Birmingham in 8th, Huddersfield, West Brom, Barnsley in 11th, 12th and 13th, Crystal Palace again Narrowly avoiding the drop this time by five points. But once again, we all still remain in the Premier League. Come on, boys. Stay in the Prem. Still no relegations. Nottingham Forest in 15th. Crystal Palace in 14th. Huddersfield in 12th. West Brom in 11th. Barnsley in 8th. Stoke City in 7th. Birmingham and Leeds in 6th uh, and 5th. Again, no Champions League football. But all of our sides are remaining pretty competitive in the Premier League. Crystal Palace... If there is to be a relegation, it seems like it might be them. They've had a couple of near misses and once again finishing pretty far down in the league table. Let's move on to the next season. Once again, Palace finishing 16th, the bottom of our uh, formerly managed clubs. West Brom, Forest, Leeds, Huddersfield, Barnsley, Stoke getting Champions League football. That's what we like to see. Uh, yeah, another decent season by our boys and still all remain in the Premier League. That's I'm going to take credit for it. It's all about setting up them. Good players, sellable assets, and Crystal Palace get relegated in the next following season. <laughs> I mean, how many years had it been since we managed them? Probably about 10 years since we managed Crystal Palace. And they did get relegated in the 2042-2043 season. Our first former side to do so since Barnsley and Leeds when we were still active on the save. Huddersfield came in 14th, Nottingham Forest in 13th, West Brom in 12th, Stoke City in 9th, Barnsley in 7th, Birmingham and Leeds in 5th and 6th. Still, none of our former sides really competing at the top, top end of the Premier League. Competing for Champions League football, sure. But uh, Premier League title-wise, it might be a bit of a stretch. We've only got six more seasons to go through. Let's have a look at the next one. Nottingham Forest this time. Missing out on relegation through goal difference. One goal in it between themselves and Wolves, but they do remain in the Premier League. West Brom then in 12th. Leeds then in 10th. Stoke in 9th, Huddersfield in 7th, Barnsley in 5th, Birmingham City in 3rd, 15 points away from Arsenal in the top position, but qualifying for Champions League football. The next one, still no relegation, West Brom in 15th, Crystal Palace 14th, Huddersfield in 13th, Nottingham Forest in 11th, Leeds in 10th, Birmingham City in 7th, Barnsley in 6th, Stoke City in 2nd place, 6 points away from the title. Can they do it? Stoke City... Not too far away from Premier League. Let's see if Crystal Palace got themselves promoted at the first time. Oh, they've already promoted. Of course they did. Palace were in that season. Next season. Still no relegations. Not in first and 16th. Huddersfield 14th. Crystal Palace 13th. West Brom 11th. It's interesting. Huddersfield were probably our most successful former side when we were still managing. Now it seems like they've definitely dropped off. Palace 13th. West Brom 11th. Stoke City in 10th. Massive drop from the second place finish of the previous season. Leeds in eighth. Uh, Birmingham City in sixth. Barnsley in second. Nine points away from top of the table. Liverpool, come on. One of yous. One of yous can do this. Oh, no relegations. Birmingham City, though, finishing 16th this time. Huddersfield in 15th. Stoke City in 13th. Leeds in 12th. Forest in 11th. West Brom in 9th. Barnsley coming in 5th this time. 
Crystal Palace in the Champions League after recently being relegated, they've bounced back in a pretty major way. Uh, again, no one really challenged, and only a couple of seasons left. Still no relegation, well, apart from the Palace one. West Brom finishing in 17th this time, 13 points clear of relegation, so it was never really a massive concern, but only one place outside of it. Palace in 15th, Stoke 14th, Nottingham Forest 13th, Barnsley 11th, Huddersfield 9th, Burnham City in 8th, Leeds qualifying for the Champions League, this time finishing in 4th place. So we've got plenty of Champions League qualifications from our former sides, and they're the massively varying in terms of where they're finishing. You know, one season, Stoke City were finishing second place a couple of seasons ago. Now they are down in 14th. Let's have a look at the next season. 48-49. I think this is the final full season that we have. Huddersfield got relegated. Absolute mess. So at the end of this episode, one of our sides will be out of the Premier League. Uh, in terms of the other sides, Nottingham Forest finishing in 13th. Uh, Birmingham City qualifying for the Europa League whilst finishing in 11th. Stoke City in 10th. Uh, Crystal Palace in 10th, sorry. Stoke City in 9th. West Brom in 8th. Barnsley in 7th. Leeds United in 6th. And none of them, none of them really uh, challenged for a Premier League title. Stoke City coming the closest, six points away. So we'll have a quick look through the history of the club and uh, we'll start with Barnsley. What awards they have won? It looks like they have won a Europa League. I'm not sure when that happened, but. Uh, that's pretty, pretty good. They won the Europa League 2 as well. We've seen that before. FA Cup, they've won once. Yeah, the Carabao Cup, they've won twice. Decent. As you can see here, they won the Europa League in 2043. Also coming in runners-up last season, it looks like. 2048. Runners-up in the European Super Cup. English FA Cup, 2045, 2038 and 2048. So, the uh, as runners-up. So, they've been pretty successful in the FA Cup in terms of getting to the advanced stage. Um, that's pretty much it. Let's move on to Birmingham. So the Premier League, they've come in third in uh, 2038 and 2044, apart from our season with them in 2024. Europa League winners in 2045, so we've got some European glory from them as well. FA Cup winners last season in 2049, runners-up in 2043. Carabao Cup winners in 2041. Not too shabby from Birmingham. We will take a look at Huddersfield next. They are in the Championship, of course, at the time of recording 28th of Feb, halfway through the season. It looks like they're pretty much going to get uh, promoted. Eight games left. Eight points clear from third place uh, Wolves. So they all should be back in the Premier League before long. Let's take a look, see what they have done in terms of competitions. Uh, nothing in the Premier League. Nothing of note worth. So they never came third since we left. FA Cup, they did win in 2039. Uh, we, the one in 2037 as well, but we were still actually managing at that point. 2039, winner of uh, Europa League 2, the Europa Conference League, and runner-up in the League Cup in 2043. Leeds United next. Nothing in the Premier League, so no top three finish for them. In terms of anything else, they won the Europa League as well in 2042. All of our former sides seem to have performed pretty well in Europe, at least the Europa League. 2042, Euro European Super Cup runners-up. Um, runner-up in the FA Cup in 2049. That's pretty much it, Leeds. I mean, happy to get the Europa League win, but I thought I would have expected more from Leeds with the size of their fan base and uh, just the sort of potential Leeds as a club has. Who was after Leeds? Was it Forest? Might have been Forest. We'll have a look anyway. Uh, nothing in the Premier League, nothing European Super Cup, and nothing in the FA... Oh, Nottingham Forest. Runners up in the <laughs> Europa Conference League. Uh, winners of the League Cup in 2045. But Nottingham Forest may be one of the least well-performing clubs so far in terms of honours. Next one, I believe, is Crystal Palace. Anything interesting here? Uh, obviously won the Skybet Championship. That was when they've just been relegated, so that wasn't us. We were 2032, weren't we? Of course we were. Anything else, Crystal Palace? I don't think there is. There's nothing I'm saying here in terms of honours. So Crystal Palace obviously hasn't had as long since we left, since of the likes of Huddersfield and Birmingham City, to actually compete for honours, but that's disappointing. West Brom, I believe, are next. Anything interesting from them? Obviously, runs up in 2035. Was that us? I think it was us. 2035 was when we came in second place with West Brom. Um, but it doesn't look, really look like there's much else. I mean, the one that under 18's Premier Division Cup in 2040. That's, that's decent. Now, we know Stoke have had a couple of second place finishes in the Premier League. Obviously, ourselves in 2037. But then again, in 2045, where they came as close as anybody has to winning the Premier League of our former sides. 2040, 
the Europa League win rather than Europa League 2, which of course we won in 2037. They won the FA Cup in 2039. Stoke have had a pretty good go of it. Uh, obviously, we won their League Cup in 2036. They won the Community Shield in 2039. I mean, doesn't mean nothing. <laughs> but uh, we've got a good haul from our former sides in terms of what they've been able to do in the past and stuff. And just to round out this video, I do actually want to look at Stoke City in terms of the transfers. I want to see what they actually did once we left. Whether there's any massive sales or was it all just pretty much standard. So this was the first summer transfer window since we left the club. Um, obviously, we Rui Ray left that time. Trifinovic, but no massive, massive sales as of yet. We'll move on to the next season. Victor Hugo Cruz, the, se the season after we left, went to join Spurs for 83 million quid. He's obviously 35 now, so we're not going to get a good reflection of his attributes at the time, but obviously was good enough for Spurs to pay 83 million quid for. Oh, Ilias Skafidas. He was the Greek striker we signed to replace Stamenkovic in the um, January transfer window of our season. And I mean, he had high potential, but obviously we had Frankie Grand, we had uh, Annabel Zarate and Luis de Cordova at the time. But he went to Leeds for 83... Oh my God, he developed so well. A legendary striker. He went to Leeds for 83 million quid. Had a couple of good seasons there. Then moved to Barcelona for 81 million pound where he's had a fantastic time of it. And he has become one of the best strikers on the game. I mean, we signed him for what? 8.25 million quid. We only, when he started, we only gave him one substitute appearance off the bench. But then uh, after we left the London, the Celta Vigo, he had a full season with Stoke. And then they made a huge profit on him. That's a surprise. Going further forward than the very next season, Luis de Cordova ended up joining Chelsea for £56 million. I mean, he's 33 years old now. He actually ended up announcing for Jamaica. I'm surprised he never, ever really got any um, English caps. But it looks like once he'd left, once I'd left, he basically fell out of favour at Stoke. And then £56 million quid from Chelsea's crazy, considering he wasn't getting game time at Stoke. And then he didn't get game time at Chelsea, really, over the course of his time there. And um, that's a little that's a little bit sad to see. Having another quick look through through the rest of the season, it doesn't look like any of our former players really got sold for that much more money after this point. It's all basically players they brought in themselves. So yeah, definitely interesting to look forward to see how the EI take what we've managed to be able to complete with these clubs and then see how far they can take it. Unfortunately, none of them have been able to take it at the next level of winning the Premier League, but some of them got close. Barnsley finished second, Stoke City finished second, and um, the likes of Leeds and stuff are always, at least in the top half of the conversation, talking about European football and stuff. And the rest of them are yo-yoing about, as you would expect from yo-yo clubs. But anyway, boys, if you have enjoyed this look forward, please consider leaving a like, and if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.